Good evening, YouTube. It's Hannah from Smilegish, and I don't know if you've noticed, but that big burny bright thing in the sky is getting quite strong because I'm really sorry, goths, but it's summer. Oh, we can do this. And I thought it would be really cool to make a bit of a video with some top tips on how to survive being a goth in the summertime. Um, and I kind of thought about this while I was on holiday. I've been on holiday recently to Turkey where it's very, very hot. Um, and obviously I kept my goth style. I made a vlog of it, which I'll put down in the description box um, in case you want to see. Um, but yeah, I thought, you know, I should do, I should do some top tips on how to survive in the summer. So here are just some tips from somebody that's been a goth for a while and is quite old and experienced on how you can stay goth and cool in the summertime. Now the most, the most important tip, and this is for anybody, but, but goths especially so, because obviously we don't want suntan. Well, I don't, and I would, I would assume most goths wouldn't want to tan, but also please remember even a really healthy looking tan is skin damage. Get yourself some high factor SPF. So this is just a generic one. I get Superdrug because they're cruelty free and vegan. This is a 50, factor 50, like all over body lotion. They also do this in like a spray if you want the spray one. Um, it has five star UVA protection. That's the important thing. You want the five star UVA protection because it will also have UVB, so you want that. Um, then this is just a face one, and I find it really useful if you get one uh, a factor like 50 or a high factor SPF specifically for your face. It won't be as heavy and greasy feeling as the one you use for your body. And even if you're gonna wear makeup on top, which I'll get to in a minute, um, you just don't want to forget about putting actual SPF protection on your face too. And the last thing that is really useful um, is a hair and scalp protection spray, especially if you're gonna do what I did in a few days, which is just sit by the pool. You spray this on, rub it in and then just chuck it in your handbag and then you can top up throughout the day spray it all on your scalp and actually i did this religiously this holiday and i have i normally get a bit of a sort of burnt scalp and i didn't at all this year and um, so i'm going to keep doing that the downside is it does make your hair feel slightly greasy um but protection's worth it and if you're anything like me you're going to be washing your hair more regularly in the summer anyway so yeah. On the subject of makeup, I, I actually think that there's a sort of compromise you need to make. Now, something that I, uh, I learned last year is to use a powder foundation instead of a liquid, because a liquid can make your face feel clammy, would melt off and just go a bit, especially if you're, you get sweaty and you get hot. Whereas a powder foundation will mattify it. Um, if you do want to use a foundation, I'd use something like this uh, Fast Base Stick Foundation from Revolution or the NYX Drops Foundation and go for a lighter coverage than normal or just use a concealer in the places that you need the coverage um, and then just concentrate on your eyes and your lips so don't worry too much about your face uh, makeup, that's what I would suggest but also I think the key to having makeup in the summer is using a setting spray and taking it with you to top up throughout the day. So apply it, this is a tip that I kind of found quite recently, spray it before you do anything, even before you put your primer on, spray your face with setting spray, put your makeup on and then spray it again afterwards. Um, and that really does help keep your makeup there whilst it's really hot and you're getting sweaty. Let's get on to fashiony things, grab yourself a glamorous gothic hat. So my one is a black sort of straw wide brimmed hat. Um, and I just think it's so, it's important. You can wear it if you're sitting in the garden, you can wear it if you're going to the beach or on holiday, you can wear it just rock it going around the town. But it's just so important, I think, to keep the sun off your head, but also off your face too. Um, especially in the like the hottest part of the day which is from about midday to about two o'clock um 
and a hat's just I think it's stylish and you might get a bit of hat hair but who cares the other thing to go with that is get yourself a really nice pair of sunglasses now these are from Primark a few years ago um, and I just love them because they're big they're oversized they're slightly cat uh, eye shape um, and they've got the purple but you can get loads and loads and loads of glasses and I actually think loads of sunglasses look super goth like these I think look amazing I mean I'm something I'm considering is like sticking a little bat or a spike or something right in the corner there but um at some point this week I've just I've just bought some more sunglasses I'm a bit of a sunglasses fiend um and as soon as my sunglasses come that I've bought I'm gonna do a sort of sunglasses collection video but I've got loads of really cool sunglasses I've got some of the circle ones like super gothy ones I've got some blue ones I've got yeah I've got loads of sunglasses um and I think they're just they're so actually important because people don't, I think people sometimes don't realise that you need to protect your eyes from the sun as well. Um, and a, a real pair of sunglasses with UV protection in them is just a crucial thing that you need. And spending more money on sunglasses is, you know, it's good because they'll work better, they'll filter more sunlight out, but you don't need to. As long as your sunglasses have UV protection, you don't need to spend loads of money on them. I mean, I think I've spent... My most expensive sunglasses were about £20 and I got them from TK Maxx. So, you know, these must have been about £5. You don't need to spend loads of money to be extra safe. I'm going to take my hat off now. I'm just going to do that with my sunnies. Yeah. And then they help keep your sight... Uh, help keep your fair hair off your face. That's another thing. I haven't got anything, but you can get... I use lots of funky hair slides and hair bandanas try and keep your hair off your face if you can um because i always find myself a bit hotter you could do space buns i do space buns i do pigtails um i just pin bits back um tease it a bit just do something to try and keep yourself cool uh clothing wise i've been i wore some i wore these in uh, turkey so much and they're just a pair of loose sort of linen-y cottony wide-legged trousers um super easy to goth up um really comfortable even in you know 30 35 degree heat these kept me really cool because they're they're made of a lightweight sort of cottony material and that's what you want in your clothes um unless you're super hardcore you don't want to be wearing velvet heavy denim pvc leather anything like that in the sun it's that's just gonna be a bit crazy so wide leg cool breezy trousers maxi skirts maxi dresses if you're a boy or a girl let's be honest um they are your absolute best friends um if you if you present male you can wear shorts um you can wear shorts as a girl with fishnets if you don't like your legs um and think about your footwear choices New rocks might not be the best choice when it's really, really hot, but I know lots of goths, we, we, we sacrifice for the aesthetic, uh, but just don't, don't overheat because it's not fun. As for on top, I find these sort of cold shoulder t-shirts really, really useful um, because like I said, they're cool, they look good as well, they give me a little bit more coverage because I'm, I'm not a fan of my arms, but I think the sort of cold shoulder tops is fine. Um, and again, they're just really cool and they look quite gothy because they've got lots of straps and stuff. So these sort of cold shoulder t-shirts are good. And then if you want to wear things like strappy vests and that, but you're not a fan of your arms or you want a little bit of extra coverage, then these sort of tops, so this one is sort of a lacy pattern, you get mesh tops, um, fishnet, anything like that. That's perfect to go on either underneath or over the top of your maxi dress, your jumpsuit, your strappy vest, just to give you that bit of extra coverage, but still stay really cool. And the last thing, again, for when I'm wearing a strappy vest or a maxi vest dress or whatever, this is probably, I mean, all year round, this is a really indispensable thing in my wardrobe, but especially in the summer, are these sort of kimono-y tops. Now this one is a mesh one from Necessary Evil. It's one of my absolute favorite pieces of clothing. It comes with a studded belt so you can cinch it in, but I actually think it's flattering and really, really comfortable in the summer, just loose. Um, and yeah, it's just these kind of things are really good because you can throw them on 
if it gets cooler in the evenings you're on holiday and it's got to be cooler chuck that on if it's really hot and like i said you want a bit of extra protection a bit of extra coverage just chuck them on like that i've got this one is made of lace i've got some other sort of patterned ones yeah um and you can normally find them in the shops um and i don't think i've got anything else to say actually that's about it those are some really really simple tips to stay goth but also survive in the summer heat because we don't do very well do we in the heat all this black it takes in heat it's not very good but we do what we can to stay true to the aesthetic and yeah so those are my top tips for surviving in the summer as a goth i hope you found this video useful let me know in the comments below are you going on holiday are you going anywhere are you doing anything fun this summer i'm going to festivals so i'll be taking my SPF with me, I'm going to Bloodstock um, and I'm going to Berlin with Pete. Other than that, I'm just going to have lots of fun in the sun at home. So yeah, let me know in the comments below what you're doing in the summer, what your summer plans are. Um, and thank you very much for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.